Hi, this is Susan Rubino from Over the Top Quilting Studio, the APQS Austin showroom. What I'm going to show you today is how to attach your zippers to the backing of your quilt sandwich in preparation for coming in to the studio, our studio, to finish your quilts. I've got a piece of backing right here. It happens to be a pieced backing that is made up of multiple pieces of, of different kinds of fabric. And as you recall, as you know, backing has, and all fabric, has a right side and a wrong side. In this case, we're pretty lucky because we've got a piece in between, and of course the seams that we use to connect these pieces of fabric are going to be on the inside of the quilt and are, by definition are on the wrong side of the, the uh, fabric. To start, you want to have the right side of your fabric down on the table and we're just going to work with the wrong side of the fabric at this point. But it's important to know which is the right side and which is the wrong side and it's also important to know which is the top of your backing fabric, that is the piece of the backing that's going to go onto the pickup leader of our APQS machines, and which is the bottom side, that is the piece of the fabric that is going to go onto the belly bar of our APQS machines. If you do piece your backing like this is, you want to do your very best to make sure that your seams run horizontally that is run parallel to what is the top of the backing and the bottom of the backing. Now this happens to be pieced with a different piece of fabric, but if you happen to piece your backing with just the same piece of fabric, the rule holds the same. You want to do everything possible to have your piecing seams run horizontally. Okay, first thing you need to do is to determine what is the top of your backing. That is again the backing that goes onto your pickup roller and we usually ask you to indicate it with a safety pin. That tells you what's what and if you get confused you've got the pin to remind you. This is the bottom of your backing and now we're getting ready to attach the zippers. Then Using your zippers, your 12 foot long zippers that have been provided to you as a result of taking the rental certification class, I'm going to separate them. Separate them into two separate pieces. And if you recall, they have been marked as green and black. Green being the female side of the zipper, black being the male side of the zipper. First thing to do is to determine and identify the center of the bottom of your backing. And I do it just simply by folding the fabric in half, marking it with a straight pin, just very simply. And then I find my, since this is the bottom of the backing, I find my green zipper my green zipper and match the center of the green zipper to the center of the backing, the bottom of the backing, which we've already marked with a pin. So the red mark on the zipper is laid up against the pin that's in the middle of the bottom of the backing. You lay the tape of the zipper against the wrong side of the backing fabric when you are pinning to the bottom of the backing fabric. I pin it and let it go at that point, ensuring that I've got my green, my female zipper on the left hand side as I'm standing at the bottom of the backing. Remember an easy way to recall which is which. Green, green is for grass. Grass goes on the bottom. That's how you can distinguish it from the other side. Speaking of the other side, we're gonna go now worry about the top of the backing. 
Remember we have identified it with our pin that can come off right now. Finding, using the same methodology to find the center of the top of the backing, just simply folding it in half, identifying the center with a pin, opening it back up. Now taking the male side of the zipper, the black side of the zipper, keeping the black on my left, I find the center of the zipper and now I am laying it against the right side of the back uh, the, of the backing and pinning through the wrong side. So now that you've got it pinned and now that you've got e each zipper correctly placed, you can walk away, you can do anything you want, you can throw this down and you will never get confused because you already have taken the time to mark your zipper positions and now you can at your leisure continue to do your pinning. So let me show you and remind you how to do your pinning. You want to pin head to toe having the end of one pin match and come up to the end of uh, to the head of the second pin. I do that from the center going to the left and then I'm going to come back and do it from the center going to the right. So this is approximately the spacing that you need. Now let me show you what you don't want. You do not want big gaps between your tail of one and your head of another because that big gap will cause your fabric to not lay straight. You also do not need major overlaps. Yes, it's nice and tight, but it is absolutely unnecessary and it's going to take you more time and you're going to use more pins. So just do head to toe and you'll be absolutely fine. So just going across Starting from the center going to my left, I'm pinning. I won't continue now. But then I come back to the center and now begin to pin to my right using the same methodology, head to toe. Once that's done, you then want to work on the other side of your backing, making sure that when you're on the bottom, the tape of the zipper is attached to the wrong side and the pins get attached to the right side of the fabric. That seems a little bit confusing, but if you do it this way, you will not get anywhere near as uh, many pin pricks um, than if you did it the other way. So doing the same thing, starting at the center, going to the left, and then coming back to the center and going to the right. Okay, in summary, let's make sure that you have all these crazy facts together. I'm now at the bottom of my backing. The pins go into the right side of the bottom of your backing. The zipper tape is on the wrong side of the bottom of your backing and the female that is the green part of the zipper is on your left. On the top, you are going to put your zipper tape on the right side of the fabric and your pins on the wrong side of the fabric with the male side of the zipper, the black side of the zipper, again on your left. If you do all those things, you will never have a problem. You'll be ready to go.